Well, hello and welcome. Today we're at Faulkner Education Farm. We're here with Mr. Jim Hankins, the executive director of the farm. Jim, thanks for letting us come out today and talk about double cropping. Now, I hear that a lot with farmers. Was that something that, well, first of all, what is it? Well, you know, we're standing right here in this potato patch, which is getting really pretty close to being ready to harvest. What's really important is as soon as these potatoes come out, I'm going to put another crop right here in the same space. I'm holding a cabbage because as soon as I know those potatoes are out, I'm going to pop in cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, my fall cool season crops right in the same ground. You know, um, anytime I'm disturbing the soil quite as much as I would with harvesting the potatoes, the best thing to do with that soil, don't let it just lay there fallow, put something else in there. That's how you can really maximize your success. Well, that sounds like actually great advice for a home gardener. I bet a lot of people don't do that. Farmers do it, yep. but I think that could be a great use of the land. You know, there have been times when I've, potatoes are nice because they'll just kind of store in the soil and I've waited and delayed to harvest them. These days now, I want them out in July so that I can get my fall cool season crops in the ground in August. One big mistake a lot of folks make is waiting until fall to plant your fall crops. The truth is, August is when you should be planting broccoli, cauliflower, um, cabbage, kale okay. um, that will go on. You know, last year we were harvesting cabbages into the first week of December and they went in right where we had planted potatoes. Oh, that's great. So these potatoes early in the spring, you're putting those in the ground. Yep. Around March. And you're going to be harvesting those. When do you think? Mid July. Mid July. And then going back with transplants yes. of these uh, of cabbage, plant, cabbage plants. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. And like you said, it seems, you know, for some of the home gardeners, it seems a little bit hot time of the year to maybe do a fall crop, but that's the best time, like you said. Oh, it is absolutely the best time if, and if you don't get them in the ground in August, you know, as I said, some of my cabbages weren't mature until the first week of December. Yeah, yeah. So get them in the ground in August. Okay, so this yep. is a lot about timing, and it's a lot about really utilizing everything you've got to the, the maximum degree, I'm thinking. And being good to your soil. Like I said, if when I really dig up all this soil with my heart potato harvest, the best thing I can do is put another crop right into that soil. Don't let the weeds take it over. All right, well, I think you're saying this is good for the home gardener then, right? Absolutely. All right, well, Jim, thank you so much for letting us come out and talk today about, about how to really use your resources wisely. Double cropping is the way to go. Well, for more information about double cropping in the garden, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.